Welcome back to the vlog, y'all. We're here back at the tree house, my favorite place to be. It's where my family is, and uh, I just love the great outdoors. Living in the great outdoors here at the tree house on the daily, except I have not been here, so I'm gonna update you guys. In today's video, we're gonna do a little dangle. I still have yet to put my boat in the water post finding out I have a crack in the hull, but I went to the Bowtech rally had a great time up there in Cave City in Kentucky. And then I went down to the beach for, you know, a little bit of a cave with the fam just to uh, do our annual beach thing. Then came back for a microsecond and shot up to see my boy John B. Went to uh, Camp Claw for the first time ever. Fell in love up there. Anyway, uh, we're looking at a house right now just to give you guys a house update. We are on paper looking to be moving uh, here, sh here shortly. Um, within within a month and a half, two months, it's looking like. So uh, we're potentially living in our last days here at the treehouse. And probably been, you know, one of the most stressful times. Just selling a house, uh, fixing up our house. It's been, uh, it's been one of those. But you know what the best cure of the world is? Uh, no matter if it's just, you know, stress of selling a home, uh, stress of work, stress of school stress of whatever it is just life it's getting out in nature it's getting out on the water and um you know i'm very blessed to to have a vessel i can go out and do that on i've actually got two but i gotta go get my john boat um from my boy turkla uh here pretty soon uh he's still got it right now uh, it's just been a whirl whirlwind. So uh, shout out to my buddies, shout out to my, my fellow Googans, just my bros um, for, you know, just help, help during this time. And to you guys for watching the videos, giving us support, uh, even offering your, your services in, in your industry and whatever you do. I appreciate that guys. Um, you know, this, this world is small. We don't have a whole lot of time on it and this is just a really cool community that I'm blessed to be a part of. So let's jump with the truck. Let's give her a dangle. Let's see what's happening with the with the new silver bullet. We've got severe water problems or not coming in. Okay, see a little bit of water starting to seep in there. Yep, it's still leaking a little bit. Back to my home ramp that has been closed for over two months, finally open again. And I've only identified one crack in the hole and I sealed it up with silicone. And I don't, there might be some leaking in there right now, but there's definitely water that's coming in still. So I think I got to take it in to get like a full analysis. It's just not something I want to do. You know, it's, it's, they're going to take away my baby. It's like having a newborn. I spent all this time fixing up the, uh, the electronics, putting the, putting the turret on, doing all the things, the batteries, the juice. This thing is bulletproof on, on batteries right now. It's it's ready to go. Feels unstoppable, yet she got a hole, man. She got a hole in her. Gotten back from basically like a four week stint. You know, you guys haven't seen a lot of this, but you know, I went to I went out west to California and fished uh, for the first time. Um, you know, I did go to Kentucky. I went to Florida. I've been I've been to Camp Claw all the way up in Maine. I've basically been all over the country. So. I haven't spent a whole lot of time bass fishing over this summer, which this is, you know, August, terrible in Texas. It's not good. But I still, I like to get out there. I like to grind. I like to figure them out. And today I'm just going to try to catch some bass or some crappie. Whatever's biting. Okay, while I've been away, someone graciously planted a brush pile or two. Around a spot I wanted to fish anyways. I'm just gonna make a few casts here, see if there's any green ones 
in the mix. Crappie just tried to eat it. We got some crappies that want to play ball. Crappie. Oh, 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 oh. Back in the game, boys. Crappie still love me. I'm gonna let you go because I got a lot of fish in the fridge right now, buddy. But I appreciate that bite. Second crappie cast. Smoked it. Feels head shaky like a catfish. Oh, and it is. Oh. A little 2.8 inch saucy on a jig head. I'm trying to go for a bass there, a mondo crop, and hey, it's a tug. We like tugs, tugs are good. Good bass cruising down there. It looks like a little hard spot. Oh, it looks like we got some fishing line. Always carry a knife. Never know when fishing line is gonna get in the way. Crappie and a catfish. Couldn't get the trifecta on the bass. We're gonna move on. Try to get one. I'm feeling a big worm. Big boy on top. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Come and get it. Little crops, little crops on top. Yeah, that's what that big bass is down there munching on, dude. Better watch yourself. There we go. Not finding a ton of big ones on one particular area, but I've got so many spots on this body of water. I could just run and do this until my arms fell off. A good one chase it down there. Came off a separate little brush pile. Floated them up. Beautiful Texas white crappie. Love coming home to you guys. Love coming home to you guys. Looks like a big old bass is uh, currently terrorizing the back pile there. Jeez, got whopped by a doozy there. It's coming up to jump like a largemouth. 
All right, all right. I think I'll quit messing with you guys. We'll go try to find ourselves a green weenie. Throw a worm in this other brush pile. Just gotta keep them in check, you know. You go go away for a while. And the lake's been closed. I gotta I gotta keep them in check. Make sure they haven't gone full rogue on me. Oh man, those crappie crappie are all over my jig, man. Big crops trying to eat it. All right, let's go find ourselves a green one that wants to eat. All right, we got we got a rock that has quite a bit of life activity. Looking for a mean greeny. There we go. There he is. There he is right there. That's a good one, boys. Don't tell me he just came off, because God, he loaded up. Oh, shoot, he came off. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even move him. That really felt big, really felt big. Had the right line, everything, God. Just one of those, those moments, I lined up on the rock, turned the camera on. Boom, he, I, as soon as I hit the rock, he crushed it, but he let go. I'm getting, uh, getting falls a lot too, I can see on the, on the forward. I've had a couple other fish, I don't know if they're bass or what, they'll fall that crankbait out. Oh my God, he hit it. Oh, oh my God, that was a giant. Oh my God. The whole harness came out. Oh my God, that was a giant. I just chased that thing up. Well, use that thing one too many times, I suppose. Oh my gosh, man. He freaking annihilated it. We're on. We're on. Could get our uh, elusive largemouth here. Nope. Could only be our friend the catfish. Catfish are active. That ain't it. Nope. Bird's mad at me. Fish don't like me. Let's do a leak check. Oh, yeah. We got water. Bill John. We're leaking, boys. That's uh, that's a couple hours out here on the water. I think it is a little bit better than what it was, but we, we got we need we need a pro to look at this thing, see where the the holes are at. Is it's definitely, definitely leaking. Bye, 
Are you pumped? Yep, super pumped. How you feeling? Just dropped Amy off at school? Like real school, yeah. kindergarten. I feel like part of me is going into depression mode right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. Been so quiet without Emmy, it's so strange. Do you not like having your sister around? I love that sister. I love that sister. You love that sister, you do. That's your Aww. best friend. Is Emmy your best friend? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Are you sad she's at school? Yeah. Yeah. Going to school, Ben? No. Why not? Are you going to preschool? No. Where are you going to go? Stay here. <laughs> He's going to stay here. <laughs> oh, I'm no. going to stay here yeah, with Mom all stay. my life. <laughs> he never wants to leave me. <laughs> and he's cloned himself. He's uh, he's been making just pictures he of himself, himself. tracing <laughs> tracing himself in the driveway. Okay, let's see how our silicone pasting job held up uh, all right, there she blows okay there's a little bit of that front that I did not get but it stayed on for the most well I say that it's sort of peeling off now my personal thought is I think that's most of the leak right there I, I don't think there's any other spots you know I haven't been under the entire hull and and looked but it seems like a lot less water came in after I put silicone in there. Um, but I'm, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna have to take it in. And exciting news, just on the home front, just got word this morning that our, um, our options period on the home that we have put an offer in has, uh, has expired. We are, we are in contract. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. Um, I think you guys are going to, um, Really like the move, really like the, the scene, the scenario. Uh, it's it's gonna be good. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Keep it locked right here for more outdoor action and life vlogs coming at you soon here from the treehouse and beyond. We'll see you on the next one. You girls been working up any eggs in here, hmm? The heck, no eggs. Oh, bueno.